Okay guys, now let's solve this problem. Now length of the bridge which is a train of 130 meters long and traveling at 45 km per hour can cross in 30 seconds. So what they are asking? The well, in all these questions you need to find uh, what are they asking for and what is the situation. Now the situation in this case is that a bridge, a train is crossing through a bridge. right? So let me draw, if this is the bridge and let's say this is the train the train is crossing this bridge so this is for the train and this one is for the bridge bridge is standing it's not moving it's just standing there but the train is moving right in a particular direction they provide us the length of the train which is 130 130 meters right and they also provide the speed of the train that is 45 km per hour right normally it's an idea that bridge can be shorter than the length of the train it can be larger than the length of the train but in the in, in the uh, options that they provide us they're telling that uh, the length of the train is 130 meter and the bridge length is obviously uh, higher than the length of the train so definitely the bridge is longer or larger so that's why i draw it larger it's, it's a basic concept that we always look for so once you find that the bridge is larger train is also there now remind you once if you find this kind of problems, once the train is crossing something, train is crossing the bridge, one thing is standing, another thing is crossing, definitely you need to find the distance traveled by the train is obviously the distance of the train itself. I repeat, in this case the distance traveled by the train is obviously the distance of the train itself, but in this case the bridge is larger, so it is traveling the distance of the train which is 130 meters plus some extra amount of distance we don't know the distance because the bridge is slightly larger right so for crossing this bridge this, this train is crossing the distance of itself as well as some extra distance let's hope this distance is x and that is the distance for the bridge right so, so the distance covered the total distance covered by the train through this process is the distance of the train itself plus the distance of the bridge divided by so, so, so this is the particular distance covered. So, total distance, total distance covered. Here is 130 plus x. This is the total distance covered. Now, this total distance covered in 30 seconds, right? So, this distance is covered in 30 seconds. So, what is going to be the speed of the train? or the velocity of the train. So what is going to be velocity of the train? It is going to be the distance covered that is 130 plus x divided by 30. This is going to be the speed of the train, right? 130 plus x divided by 30 because that's the normal thing, right? Do you have any idea of this, this particular speed? They have already told us the speed of the train. That is 45 km per hour. So we need to put here 45 km per hour. But remind you, one important thing is that the, the speed is in kilometer per hour. But here we are finding everything in meter per second. So we need to convert it, those things in one unit. They are finding the answers in meter. So definitely convert uh, this kilometer per hour into the meter. So for converting kilometer per hour directly into meter, what we should do, we should multiply it by 5 by 18. Remind you, if you are converting kilometer per hour to meter divided by 5 by 18 if you're turning meter per second into kilometer per hour do it opposite 18 by 5 right so let's find that out now in that case uh, what is going to be in this case it's going to be uh, 6 let's let's say this is the case Okay, so this is going to be uh, 5 and 2. Okay, so now 0, 26, just, just multiplying there, this is going to be 25 into 30, so 750. 2x equals to 750 minus 260 
then 2x equals to 0 9 1 4 90 so x equals to divided 4 90 divided by 2 it is going to be uh, sorry is going to be 2 45 245 is the distance right so x equals to 245 and we, we just begin with that this is the distance extra covered by the train that means this is the distance of so x here is the distance of the bridge right and what we get here 245 is a, a number c right so the answer is 245 meter is the distance of the bridge thank you guys